All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Judge. G -er -j 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 -y -d -g -e. I don't entirely know why they didn't just why they had to go with a Y, but it's amusing. Speaking of amusing, uh, so this is obviously the titular main character. He's got you know a pretty cool RoboCop setup, and those goddamn stupid Judge like powdered wig roll things. I don't know why. It <laughs> looks hilarious. I love it. So, uh, Judge is made by Ten, Town Ten Tons, the guys that made uh, Crimson Land, I believe, and more recently Neon Chrome, which I covered for a while. It was a fun game. Never got around to finishing it just because it got kind of hard and I got kind of busy. Yeah, these guys make pretty good uh, kind of isometric top-down shooters. Uh, most notably, I think one of my favorite parts about Judge... Oh, you can do co-op. Uh, let's see. Do you have uh, an alternate way of getting in? Surprise attacks will deal extra damage. Okay, so I'm just going to take some damage. So this really looks to be kind of... Oh, I almost, I almost hit uh, one of the, I almost hit one of the citizens there as they were going by. I didn't realize I, I was shooting straight through this open door, which is my, my fault. Anyway, we gotta get a red key to get in there. Okay, hold on. I wanna figure some of these things out. This is an explosive barrel, yeah? Okay, so this is just gonna be super familiar. If you've played, ow, oh, we died. <laughs> I was on fire. All right, let's try that again. I wanna find where that red key is. Uh, but yeah, so if you've played uh, Neon Chrome, this is going to be incredibly familiar. Uh, like, incredibly so. And that's cool, actually. Like, I don't know, I, I really, I really like Neon Chrome. I thought it was fantastic. I'm going to die again. I keep setting myself on fire here. I, I'm just messing around and uh, not really paying attention to what I'm doing, which is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. But yeah, so this is effectively Neon Chrome, but with um, but with a, uh, a very specifically, like, um, Judge Dread feel, which is neat. Actually, I really like that. Okay, so this time around, we're going to be far away from the... Actually, let's not do that until these people are out of here, just in case they kill themselves in the process. Okay. Anything in the agri happy? Oh. A little bit of money. Okay. I still want to find out where that key is. Yeah, I can't get in there. I'm just gonna... Okay, so we have unlimited ammo. We just have to reload. I don't see where the red key is. This is, this is it, like, right here. I don't know. Well, let's just go back to the cop car. I'm going to stop messing around. We'll come back later, I guess, when I have a red key or something. Welcome to the Judge Control Center. Play missions to earn medals, compensate credits, and unlock more powerful gear and features. Okay, so, Cybernetics Lab. Open up a cybernetics lab where you can install Judge Cyberware. 500. Cyberware augmentation module is now activated. Configure your Judge to your liking. Okay, so we can do this. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, upgrades we can do. So, oh. Citizen's health plan increases their HP by 100%. Or not 100%, 100. Automatically zaps nearby hostiles with bolts of electricity. Okay, so with more money I can get some other stuff. Uh, so we can get these. Looks like there's a whole bunch of upgrades. Do we have gavel? Okay, so we can do a fair bit of gun customization here. That's interesting. I'd love to mess with that uh, once we get further in. Okay, so we've got Dawn of Judgment, which I guess I can play again, maybe. Let's just do house arrest. So rescue the hostages, loot all containers, exit in 20 seconds. Ooh, I don't think I'm ever going to get the time one. Oh, but I might not have to do them all at the same time. 
20 seconds, though. Yeah, the idea of doing this at high speeds is weirdly insane to me. You'd probably need some pretty intense guns. I'm just going to go with the uh, rescue all hostage option for the time being. And the loot all containers. That we can do. Okay, every citizen has been rescued. See, anything else here? There's like a weird pigeon thing. <laughs> a cyber pink flamingo. Okay. I don't know why that guy was so angry about me looting the, uh, looting the dumpster, but I'm not going to question it. I guess that only took 53 seconds? Really? Huh. Okay, I guess, I guess it's a little bit more possible than I think. Especially with the, uh, the proper, uh, upgrades. Okay, so I got a fair bit of money from that. Let's go back. So, let's check. So, I don't actually spend these as a currency, it just unlocks it. So we can get the uh, shotgun, which is always really tempting. Oh, I actually took this off. Reduces incoming damage by 50%, I'll take that. And I'm gonna get a second one of these. Let's give Citizen Health Plan, just because I'm kind of bad at uh, these things. What else do we have? Collectibles, nope. Oh, select collectibles for hints. All right, uh, well, yeah, let's just keep doing this. So eliminate the targets, destroy all enemies, don't take any damage. All right, so this is a little bit more possible. Uh, to get all three. The 20 second thing was a bit unlikely. But not taking any damage? All I have to do is play really, really carefully. Problem is just seeing far enough that I'm not going to get crushed here. Could be a problem. I'd like to get the shotgun upgrade when I get the chance. We'll see. Yeah, if you if you kind of like this sort of thing, I'd highly recommend Neon Chrome. Oh, that's a grenade. Uh, it kind of plays a lot like this, but uh, it, more roguelikey. Uh, but it had like a cool upgrade system. Oh, here's the red key. I wonder if we get that forever now. I don't actually know. Well, I haven't gotten hit yet, which is a good sign. I wonder if I could get, like, a sniper rifle that uh, lets me change my camera. Now, that could be cool. Okay, so there's... There's the two associated goons. Here's a question. Can I shoot through the wall with this guy? I could. Let's see, no major civilians. Did he die? He did die. My accuracy is kind of butts. I'm not actually sure if he died or not. Okay. I assume Mr. Black died. There we go. Alright. Well, I haven't taken any damage yet. That's a good sign. Let's keep looting everything. So we need a hacking tool. Yeah, so coming back to some of these things is required. Because I don't think I can get a hacking tool on this mission. Just a thought. Now, do any of these safes have money in them? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we got some money from something earlier. Yeah. From the cash registers. So there's probably, uh. Probably stuff from that, maybe. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay, anything else here? I just wanna see if there's anything that I've missed, because there's whatever this is. It requires a yellow key. So do we just have access to the, uh. The red key from now on? It'd be a little ridiculous. Not against it. Okay, let's go blast the ATMs. Oh, door permanently unlocked. 
It's an interesting question. I wonder... So we get one red key, but I could have brought it with me to this level. It's interesting stuff. I, d I don't entirely know how to... Uh, how to respond to some of that. Anyway, let's grab the, the last of the money. No. Yeah, we gotta get we gotta get us some gun upgrades here. Alright, well let's let's go. I could I could mess around, but it seems like generally it's just gonna be better to uh oh. Mission mastered. Oh. I, I guess we got it anyway, right, because we didn't have to loot anything. Okay, new fire mode. Plasma. Short range but high damage bolts of plasma. New cyberware. Shadow blend. Enemies cannot see you while you remain in the dark. Alright, so we do have plasma, but we also have special fire. Sure, why not? Bigger or meaner than regular fire modes, but have limited uses per level. So I have heavy reekits. And what else we have? Cyberware. So we also have the shadow blend, which pfft, don't care. Okay, so let's let's go shotgun. Oh, can I not do shotgun and plasma? Oh, but I can upgrade them. So what's upgrading this do? Just the damage. The damage. Okay, let's go shotgun. Yeah, so each each weapon type can be upgraded heavily. Looks like. I'm not actually sure how to do any of these things. Well, let's go back to the map. I wonder if I can redo these for cash. Probably. Rescue the hostages. Alright. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to hit the time limit one. But that's okay. It's kind of one of those where it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, so eventually we get some kind of hacking tool and we can get in. Well, so far, so good on the shotgun front. This thing is uh, fairly satisfying. Let's see. Yeah, we probably don't want to use our red key on that. I, I want to take this red key with me and see if I can uh, bring it along. And we've already taken too long, but that's kind of expected. The shotgun is doing the work that we need. What is this? What do these do? Almost like a holdover from Neon Chrome. Can I shoot the computer for money? No, I can't. What about that thing? Nope, can't shoot that either. I know you can get like random amounts of cash from cash registers and other other things, so. Oh. I wonder if it won't let me shoot when I'm directly next to something so I don't accidentally kill myself. My health is already full. This is actually kind of interesting. Ah! Let's restart this one. Uh, it's interesting how much, uh... How much, uh... T -t 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 like, as how many of the assets actually get reused over the course of this game? Uh, this game? Well, uh, because Ten Tons made Neon Chrome. That health, um... Uh, that health station is, like, one for one the exact same health station from Neon Chrome. And on one hand, like, you could probably argue that it's lazy, maybe? I don't think I would, actually. It's, that's always a, a hard thing in and of itself. Like, how do you, uh, how do you judge a game for, like, asset reuse? And I guess for me, I don't really care. It's kind of more of the same to begin with, so it's it's one of those that's like, if you like Neon Chrome, you're going to like this game. If you were kind of meh about Neon Chrome, this game is probably just going to be kind of, uh, eh. And so the, the reuse of some basic assets here honestly doesn't bug me at all. Because it's like, eh, it's, it's a fun game regardless of, uh, of asset re reuse, so who cares? I don't know. I think that's the position I'm going to roll with. Oh, uh, can I get, I can get into that warehouse. I'm just going to permanently unlock some of these. We can get in, in through the back way to this warehouse. 
still can't hack our way in, but I can confiscate all that cash. Hell yeah. I am scum. Yeah, I'm really liking this shotgun too. The machine gun wasn't bad, but uh, it seems like this is just generally better. Okay. Oh, we get bonus. We get bonus money for uh, completing those objectives. Okay, Liam the laser drone, a friendly companion drone armed with a laser, assists you. Now that's actually kind of helpful. Okay. Let's switch from the uh, extra armor to the laser drone. And let's do shotgun upgrades. Do I have enough? Yes! We we're gonna make this shotgun ridiculous. I kinda wish some of the upgrades would actually do more than just increase the damage, but... Oh well. Anyway, ride on the streets. Eliminate the leader. Loot all containers. Exit in 25 seconds. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get the timed ones, but it's also one of those where I don't know if that matters. Okay. Yeah, that laser drone is actually kind of handy. So a whole bunch of these guys. I don't know if I have an objective to not take damage. No, it's just time-based. Well, ideally, don't take damage anyway. Uh, oh, I already killed the guy with the... Uh, I already killed the guy with the rocket launcher. Okay. Well, so far, so good, and I can just blow up these. The music is interesting. I don't... Uh, I don't actually know what to think about it. It's it's not bad. It's, it's very bloopy. Can I not? Can I really not kick over a chair here? I guess not. Okay, there we go. Not that we have any need to. I think those were the upgrade pods in um in Neon Chrome. It's interesting seeing stuff that I remember from. What is it, a year ago? I think it was a year ago. Hello! Kinda wish I knew how to use fire my rocket. Never mind. Well, I guess hitting him in the face with a rocket works out pretty well. I like the rockets. I'll have to see if there's a way that I can upgrade their ammo capacity. It'd be nice if we got the occasional, um... It'd be nice if we could actually get the occasional... Uh, like, more permanent lasting upgrade, maybe? Don't know. Now, what's the other objective I failed? I don't know. Wow, he came at me fast. Okay, we done? I think we're done. We've still got we've still got this. We're not timed at this point, so I'll kind of do whatever. I just want to look around and see if there's anything I'm missing. Doesn't look like it. I just want as much cash as I possibly can. Yeah, what what was the objective? It was defeat the leaders and I thought it was kill everyone. Did someone escape? Or I don't know. Oh, I blew up a container. That's what happened. I, I blew up a container. Well, whatever. I'll live. Let's go back to the gavel. Can I upgrade my heavy rockets? Is there a way to increase the number of uses? There's the damage upgrade. I'll throw some money at it. Gavel mods. Piece of art yet traditional, even ceremonial, self-sustained and virtually unlimited primary ammunition, multiple deadly fire modes. The gavel, my friend, get ready to deal some sweet ruthless justice. Okay, so we can now put on weapon mods to boost the gaffle. Okay, reload plasma. Fires 360 degree plasma bolts each time you start reloading. I do not have enough cash. Okay, see, this is what I was wondering about. Where we get all, all that, uh... 
extra stuff. So we also do have a new cyberware, but I'm not going to be using it because I'm poor. All right. Uh, do we? I mean, I could try that one again, but I think I'm going to avoid that. Destroy the death machine and destroy all enemies. This one seems a little bit easier. And they're already shooting at me. Unacceptable. What if there's anything that tightens the uh, the cone of fire for my uh, for my sh my shotgun? Because that actually would be kind of handy. Boo. I do like the fact that they're easy to surprise. Okay, so it doesn't actually look like my red key. Uh, my red keys carry over. So I'm not I'm not actually supposed to carry them from mission to mission. Uh, I'm just supposed to use use them on the mission I'm in, and nowhere else. Okay. Okay, it is now dead. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, we'll deal with uh, speed-related runs later. See, do I have another rocket? I do not. That's okay. Because I got a whole bunch of these. Oh, okay, so those are entry points over there. Uh, let's see, I think I've done everything else. We've, we've killed everybody. Well, I got the red key, so we might as well permanently unlock that door. Anything in there? Tons of cash. Uh, let's see. No, that's a coffee maker. I think we're good. Uh, it'd be nice if there's a map. Oh, jeez. I actually took a fair amount of hits on that one. Well, surprising no one. Let's get out of here. Dawn of Judgment. Okay. We get 4,000 cash. This is Channel Neon with a special report. The city of Edinburgh is getting safer as the controversial Judge Initiative keeps rolling out more units to the streets. Dubbed as the Crime Reaper, the judge is being paged as the new efficient form of law and order. More people are applying for the Edinburgh citizenship, as the city is indeed turning out to be the promised urban paradise. This was Channel Neon, your trusted source of news. Propaganda. Okay, Department of Justice. New hardcore difficulty unlock. Experience the scenarios in different ways and earn more medals. New fire mode. Heavy laser. Fat segments of laser which bounce off of walls. Very accurate. We also have shock orb. Slowly moving orb of high energy, dealing damage to anyone near it. Citizen safe ammo. Your projectiles will not harm citizens. Your explosions might, though. Now that's helpful. Okay, so we finished Act 1. We've got a bunch of uh, hardcore things to go back and do. So let's take a look at mods. So citizen safe ammo is pretty good. Honestly, let's go with that. Because that means I can more or less just go running and gunning with shotgun freely. Heavy laser is tempting, though. But I think I'm just going to keep uh, pouring cashola into the, the lead shotgun for the time being. I think I might actually save my cash. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to house arrest and rescue all of the hostages. Don't take any damage. Destroy all enemies. Yeah, let's try hardcore. Because if I can't harm citizens, that means I can just start shooting. Because I, I can just destroy everyone. He's still alive? Okay. Kind of surprised about that, but that's fine. There we go. Yeah, so all enemies down. Don't have to worry about the civilians. Can just freely do whatever I want. Nice. I'm still going to have to come back here later, though. Because uh, we've still got, like, hackable uh, locations to go after. But, yeah, hardcore mode ain't, ain't bad at all. And should give me three medals. I don't think I took damage on that. 
I did. I didn't. Okay, cool. And yes, that one wasn't time. Tactical view. The game is top down, and the camera is pulled back a bit. Oh. That could be helpful. Killing heals. Heals 10 each time your projectiles kill a target. That's useful. Rapid fire increases rate of fire by 20%. Hell yeah. All right, uh, let's take a look at some of these. So, I, I say let's take a look, but really, I'm just, I just spent all my money. It's worth it. This is worth it. Yeah, tactical view could be interesting. I'll have to try that at some point. Anyway, let's try bank robbery on hardcore, which is tar eliminate the targets, rescue all civilians. And that'll probably be where we end the episode. Oh, we got a new person now. So ultimately, uh, this game is a top-down shooter. Uh, fairly basic, fairly arcadey. Nothing too fancy about it. And I didn't open this one because I was I was gonna see if I could save the key. Ultimately, I like it a lot. Actually, uh, it's it's not the most complicated uh, piece of gameplay, but it's satisfying. It, it's fun running and gunning, destroying stuff, grabbing the loot, and just having like a, a casual time of it. I'm sure it gets harder, uh, but this is kind of what I liked about Neon Chrome, but with a little bit more direct, um, maybe direction would be the word I'd use. I like Neon Chrome a lot, but it felt like it was um, it was too repetitive, whereas this one kind of takes more of the, I'm gonna say the more mobile game approach, uh, which is specifically, uh, which is like specifically, you, you kind of have set levels, but depending on how how well you do with them, you uh, you have an easier or a harder time. And I appreciate that because uh, like Neon Chrome was just like do the same levels over and over and over and over again, uh, with some like kind of difficult bosses here and there. This is much more like, oh yeah. Uh, this is, this is your gun set, this is your unlock system. Everything generally makes a lot of sense. Did I miss? I missed. Oh, there goes Mr. Pink. All that's left is Mr. Yellow. Never mind, all that's left is no one. And we still need that hacking tool, but that, that's, that's fine. Right, so we've rescued everybody and we've killed everybody. Wait. Was I destroying these by walking into them? I thought I did for a second. Maybe it was like a partially destroyed one. I don't know, but either way, it's fun. And I think it's only like 10, 15 bucks. I know the 10 tons games are generally fairly inexpensive, which is nice. I guess we did have a boss now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, stun grenades. Hacking tool, finally. Sandman. You shot can stun targets. It's useful. Okay. Well, let's get rid of citizen health plan in favor of the hacking tool. More money is always useful. Of course, this means we might want to actually start going back through some of those those levels again, but eh, later. Rate of fire, killing... Let's get killing heals uh, as just a means of sustaining myself here. And I'll upgrade the gun, uh, shotgun again. At some point, I'll try one of the other guns. Uh, but for now, this is fine. Yeah, how how expensive is... Uh, no, that's Crimson Land. How expensive is Judge? It's 15 bucks normally, 12 bucks now. I think that's a fair price uh, for what they give you. I mean, it's not... It's no, not exactly like Runer, which is a very, very like specific tight, high-end quality existence. But I'd almost say this is more fun. Uh, just because... It's kind of casual, you can take things as you will, and you've got a bunch of bonus objectives to kind of keep you coming back. I don't know. Uh, I I just like one of the... I, I just like these games where if you do everything right, or mostly right, uh, you can kind of just breeze through things and have some fun. Looks like there's, uh, what, four, four acts to the game? And... Yeah, I should have no problem. If each one of these has six or even nine... So there's five, there's thirty... It would be... Uh, I might have some trouble. So, by the end of this act, 30, 60... ...84. 
Yeah, there's probably a third level of difficulty for each one of these. That's the only way I can think of it, unless it really wants you to perfect everything. That could be kind of hard. I don't know. Either way, though, I think I will see you guys in the next episode of uh, Judge. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, and I, before I forget, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, uh, I'm probably going to do at least a couple more episodes, if not uh, kind of run for a full series. It's not a particularly long game, it looks like, uh, so I might be able to just kind of blitz through it and have some fun. Uh, so, yeah. So, like I was saying, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.